Ooh, it's been fun to get back to Tiny Rogues, man. I've been having a good time with this. And welcome back to Tiny Rogues, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, thinking about taking out some of the more basic classes this time around, although I think we, uh, yeah, we got a win with the Samurai and the Esper last time, along with the win with Chaos, so we're all set there. Still no win with the Gunslinger, which I did kind of not love the experience we had with him last time. Maybe I'll hit the random Welcome button today. Back. Give that a go. Lands on S for, I mean, okay, if you say so. I think I want to stick with the keys here, too. I gotta remind myself of what our actual objective is for the world tier. Jake Toady! Time for some reduced reprobates on my Wednesday morning. Ooh, can we keep that going? That's a fun game. Defeat the Guardian of the High Heavens, which means we must be good. Must be a good little Esper. Alright, we can do that. We can let the bear take all the blood on his hands. I'm not responsible for it. The bear's got a mind of his own. I mean, that's honestly pretty true. I'm not really ever telling him how to go about his business. He just takes care of it. I have a couple of bombs to start off with. I've said this several times about several games over several years, but it still remains just as true today for me as it ever was. Oh, wait, what's our primary stat we're looking for with her? We're looking for the intelligence, that's right. So yeah, maybe not to take the meat shake. Although three strength is just pretty damn good no matter what. It's just unfortunate that I have the thing that's going to influence the uh, future rooms by this choice. I'm pretty sure anyway I took that. Anyway... What I was trying to say is I really appreciate when games uh, have a minimal barrier between boot up and gameplay. Like, f the time it takes to click play on this game on Steam, or wherever your platform of choice is, although I think this one's only on Steam, uh, from that time to the time you're actually playing is, like, seconds. And that... It makes a big difference in my mind. Even though it's so pedantic, ultimately. I still like... Yeah, no, Isaac was the first game that came to mind when I thought about that. I even have a... memory of having this exact conversation at the start of an Isaac run. There are, like, direct nods to Isaac in this game, too, aren't there? There's several references, obviously. Every roguelite is part Isaac these days. Someone's a Polter Sword Companion. 15% increased attack speed with swords. Each Snow Pal grants 20% increased cold damage. Each Pixie refunds 20% of mana drained by your weapon. Each goat grants 25% increased dash length. Right, mom stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that. Bear, I think 2024 is broken. I'm not refreshed at all. Despite a week-long vacation, I'm still tired and irritable and not renewed or filled with hope. Did you have a New Year's Eve party? Because I think that might be the uh, answer to your conundrum there. If not, I think you're right. Yeah, I think we got a broken year here. Nice to at least know that out of the gate, though, right? You don't have to build up any hope for it. Maybe it'll turn around, though. You never know. Still pretty early. Spore, Flail, Leaf Wand, and Chilling Druid Bible. This makes me feel silly for not taking the snow pile, although I would have had to replace my bear, which I clearly don't want to do. Shoots a leaf as a secondary attack that deals nature damage while spinning. All right. Give that a go. A renewal. Here I'm at Pop. Welcome back. 72 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Keep the bear hugs coming for him, please. Appreciate it. Uh, this seems bad, but sure. Did I ascend, or did I die, or what happened? I think I still got my two spirit hearts. Your hits with body damage inflict bleed. On combat start, perform a war cry that taunts all enemies. Each point of intelligence additionally grants increased effects of buffs and increased aura radius. Or, arcane familiar, 
which unfortunately again would occupy my loan slot, so that seems good enough, I guess. Oh, I think it did just take a soul heart. Yeah, it works. I'm gonna blow up the arcade machine, speaking of playing Isaac. Holy cow. Welcome back. T Hawk! Perk familiars don't take up slots. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. Want the bear hugs for the recepts, please. Thank you for welcoming welcoming them on back in to the pile. This is a much different attack pattern now, but I kind of love it. The nature attack seems like it's going to be really, really good. And that alone. Damn. All right, we've made a good choice here. Let's go get an accessory. Yeah, that sounds nice. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Lichmas. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Good situation. I appreciate that they haven't done much to alter the difficulty of the early bosses. It definitely seems like the game has gotten more difficult overall, but I appreciate that early on you can still kind of waltz through. I think that's honestly for the best for a game like this. I can dead cell sometimes. I know I can fall in the first couple of levels. It's kind of discouraging, but you know, that's more of a statement on me. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that three armor there. Yep. Requiring no attunement whatsoever, just instantly doubles our HP. That's not bad. I did forget to uh, attune for free anyway, though. Might as well do that. I'm a bit of a gator hater, if I'm being honest. Hate to admit it, but it's the truth. Team Croc all day. Oh, they heard me talking shit. I can back up, though. Getting our intelligence going. Love to see it. I'm pretty happy with the weapon right now, I think. Let's go get some money. They love those Crocs out here, dude. My goodness. At least we got a pretty good setup for it, apparently. Pawn shop. We don't really have a lot to sell there. Let's go ahead and get another resin, I think. Beautiful. Love to stock up on those resins. Let's go tavern, yeah. Let's see what's going on in here. You might be impressed enough with this thing, right? Yikes! Never mind. Hmm, this dude is the Souls guy. I don't know if I necessarily want to trade there, but that's a lot of money early on. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good idea. I could grab a Stamina Burst, too. It's pretty nice for later on to get an extra dash, and then... I don't think we need to re-roll. Might get a gift from Santa, though. It seems like a good idea. Pop that real fast. Couple of keys. Cool, okay. And then, let's go Golden Chest. Yeah, I like that. I'm doing all the aiming and shooting, J Mac. There's a lot of different weapon types and a lot of different. Holy cow, that was really good. Uh, a lot of different uh, ways to change your build up, which is fun. Gotta go then. What to do? Uh, you obviously give it a kiss. You obviously give the frog a kiss. You get plus one good. Oh my, it feels so good to stretch my legs again. I've been cooped up as a frog for so long. I cannot begin to express my gratitude. Your bravery and kindness shine brighter than the sun. Please allow me to gift you with something special, a token of my appreciation. You are my hero. Plus one to weapon upgrade level. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Let's go fight Flowey. Oh, don't give me too much credit for those leaves. No, those are all, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Give me credit for the books, which unfortunately are not nearly as reliable to hit with. Yeah, those those leaves are automatically aiming at the uh, enemies. 
Oh, I could have just lied. You know what? I take that back. I'm doing everything. Fuck, I should have lied. Also, there is a teddy bear just sitting on him right now. Doing quite a bit of damage as well. That's why I like SP. Thank you. I also appreciate that this moment gives me an opportunity to sip my coffee. On dash, kick the nearest enemy, dealing nearly freaking well, over 500 possibly striking damage. Wow, that's pretty sick. I feel like this invincibility after dash is pretty damn good, though. 0.25 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it, it's essentially like a reflexes cushion. And I think I will happily take that. So now our charms are already looking really nice. Okay, I can't remember. I think we have to be... It's morality, which is already leaning good, which is pretty nice. I guess we could be lawful, too. Wouldn't hurt. I don't have a ton of souls, though, is the thing. Oh, plus three intelligence, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy that no matter what. Plus two seconds of invincibility after taking damage. That's pretty good, too. Damn. Should need some more souls here. I'll have to get the plus three intelligence, though. All right, nice. I had a charm that gave me four seconds of invulnerability after taking damage. It's practically forever. Yeah, that is nutty. You can get some uh, pretty solid defensive builds going in this game, too. There you go. Yeah, this uh, weapon is... Outstanding. I was sold early, but the more I use it, the happier I am with it. it covers such a huge area, too. And of course, we still have the bear doing big work. Sweet. Thank you. Gotta go event. Open the coffin, obviously. Protects you once from getting cursed, but breaks in the process. It's a common accessory, not worth replacing our stone plate ring, but we will take that in case we can sell it at the pawn shop. More intelligence. We need to try to find a blacksmith here, too, especially because we got enough money to upgrade our weapon now. I do wonder just how effective that actually is. I usually feel like it's the right idea, but... Ooh, 20 gold for that. Nice. It's certainly gonna influence me to do that more. There's a shop here as well. Dragon Slayer stash, though. Hmm. I think this might also be a mimic. No, okay. This is probably worth going for. I wanna save the money for the uh, blacksmith as well. I don't think I've upgraded this thing at all. Yeah, I do wonder if maybe it's just better in a lot of cases to not worry about upgrading, uh, especially weapons you get early on. Holy staff. This weapon inflicts 10 stacks of glitter with each hit. A radiant ailment that adds two times chance to be lucky hit per stack. Current lucky hit chance is zero though, so that doesn't really matter for us. I'll give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's right. I can get it to plus four with my hero charm. I forgot about that. Yeah, this already feels worse. I think I'm pretty happy with this guy. Rubber gloves, 25% increased effective ailments per infusion buff status effect you have, which later on will be pretty good. Better than nothing, certainly. Scatter shot crossbow, we'll probably just sell that later. Let's go get some INT. Baby. Oh, I'd forgotten about the flasks too. Not that this really matters in retrospect, but. I'm gonna consider that when I've got like further HP costs to consider. So I can just fill her back up. There's an achievement to beat the devil without using a weapon, and I used Esper to do it. That makes sense, yeah, because you can just load up on companion damage, right? That's fun. 
Uh, lucky hit chance is still zero. You and your companions gain increased attack speed per aura you have, which doesn't matter. Grants increased orbital speed. We don't have orbitals. All right, get them. Got some rerolls, dude. That is a shitty set of upgrades. An aura that inflicts burn and debuffs enemies to take fire damage from you and your companions. Well, there's an aura. I'm picking up a mana star. Meteors drop from the sky. While well, you have only one companion, that companion deals triple damage. Oh, baby. Bear friend. Speaking of that. Speaking of going that route. Alright, gargoyle time. Let's see what you're made of now, bud. Though I guess he is going to be a little less effective in a fight like this. Unless he can manage to target the right one, which maybe I ought to be doing, but we're already pretty well through his HP here. Yep, he's out of here. I don't know if it matters how much damage you do to him. I think he just fully resets anyway. I wonder if you can get the simultaneous kill on these guys. That'd be fun. This is certainly a good way to utilize the bear. There we go. Alright, easy enough. What do you got? Got an offhand here. Plus two block. That's not bad. That does over encumber us, unfortunately. Increased elemental damage is kind of meh. Increased damage with magic weapons is helpful, at least. A little bit of a boost, and then, oh, additional armor. Also kind of tempting. I think I'd rather take the lower equip load and a little bit more damage here, though. Uh, I do like armor. I really like armor, honestly. honestly. I, I think armor is the best health resource in the game, considering the frequency of blacksmiths. Not to mention, if I haven't done this, I really ought to go into the... Uh, upgrade system or the little skill tree thing and uh, change it so that I've got the guaranteed blacksmith on every floor because I'm pretty sure that's one of the upgrades you can choose. Oh boy. He's fallen off a little bit here but obviously the bear's damage has been upgraded pretty significantly. I don't think we need a key just yet. We can take the trade with the decks here. Crazy Monk run last night. Love the new classes and unlocking them has been fun too. I need to focus more on that as well. Yeah, I know there's the, uh, the screen that shows you the details about how to unlock the remainder of the new characters, which there are several of that I haven't seen yet. So yeah, we ought to focus on that a little more, although I do want to try to do the world tier thing as well, which we're currently most focused on. More armor, speaking of which... Oh, this guy, I think, is granting them the armor there? Or is it this dude? I think, yeah, I think they gave it to each other there for a bit. Alright, wonderful. Fish and chips looking really nice here, too. All the stats, baby. Right, yeah, the lawful and, e and uh, evil shops. Good to uh, get all those options opened up. Let's see, I bet he likes this. Well, he might like the other weapon, actually. Let's show him that one. Wow, count me impressed. All right, sick. Thank you. But I am going to use that on the one that you thought was shitty. Chilling Druid Bible up to plus two. Nice. Uh, it is currently chilling, so I don't think I need to go for an enchantment there. Lightning in a bottle is always nice, but I think I'd rather just save the money and go to the shop here. I don't need to heal, so yeah, let's just do this. Not much so far. There's a couple that I've tried to get into, but I don't really watch a lot of anime these days. Or at all, really. Might as well get the Purging Stone for free. Yeah, it seems like a fine deal. Uh, Mana Potion is fine too, I guess. Not really thrilling stuff on offer there. I think I might bomb this Obsidian Chest just for funsies. See what comes of it. Just as a big goof. I'm a big, goofy boy. That's not bad, I guess. Still don't have a helmet, right? Yeah, so we can definitely go for this thing. Piper time. Oh, we are wrecking him. I remember him being ridiculously easy. And sure enough, yeah, first phase just disappears. Second phase halfway through. Yeah, this dude is a, uh, is a bit of a joke. I'm not sure if he's supposed to get harder as he goes, but he doesn't have enough time. He just dies. That was a weird fight. 
Copy said. Ooh, a mushroom head. Increased poison and toxic duration. Unlucky hit inflict fragility, which sadly, again, we really don't have any lucky hit chance. Not to mention our current armor is not too shabby, actually. Uh, fire damage, probably not worth. Increased damage dealt to dragons. Kind of garbo loot. I might as well fill in that fourth charm slot with something, I guess. Need to rework him. Yeah, he's, he's kind of a pushover. All right, we can afford the favor gain, but I'm pretty sure I want to hold on to my souls for now. Let's just go get more candy. Love that candy. Somebody mentioned it a little earlier, too, but the uh, the soundtrack is absolutely something that keeps me coming back to this game. There's another reason why I'm pretty excited to check out Voidigo later today, because that game also has a pretty banging soundtrack from what I've heard so far. And you go. To be fair, in Phase 2, he's stationary and you have the Contact Damage Companion. That might have been the case the last time I fought him as well. Yeah, that's certainly something that... Honestly, like, there's probably... I'm, I, I don't want to make such a bold assumption, but I feel like that kind of attack pattern is just not something that's ever really going to be posing that much of a threat, unless you do that super hexagon shit that he's got going on with the final boss, but even then, if you played super hexagon, you're probably in good shape. Like, with the boss standing still, it, it takes a lot of thought out of the process. Increased periodical rate, which sadly is not something we're dealing with. Luck would finally get us some lucky hit consideration. But I'm kind of feeling another reroll here. In strength equal to half your intelligence. That's quite nice. Although, again, really doesn't matter much. That burn aura seems pretty good. I think I'll go with that. Another dragon slayer stash. Let's bomb that and see how that does. This aura covers like the whole goddamn room. That's crazy. All right, then. Yeah, more money, I'm alright with that. Alchemy stash, yeah, that's really good. Especially if it's a mimic, yeah, it saves me a key. Alright, let's go with, uh, might as well pop the Inferno pot right away, I guess. We'll go ahead and grab that. Um, we need to drop, I think, the Purging Stone? Oh, I had a level of curse, apparently. Okay, yeah, I might as well just do that then. Uh, I gotta get rid of the Scattershot Crossbow and I can keep these guys. Cool. Another mimic going to die very quickly. Wow. Eggs! That's fun. The Wind Glaive. Which is a very nice dex weapon, but not really something we're looking to work with here. Finally found the blacksmith. I'm repair that armor real fast, and then a couple of upgrades here on the Bible. Maxed out. Nice. Although, can we do one more? Is it a plus four now? Oh, okay. Cool. More bombs. Ooh, yeah, we are much better off all of a sudden. That's pretty great. Although, I think the Burning Ore is doing a lot of that. Let's see if we can find a better accessory. Might want to get a little greedier here. Sorry, pal. We're burning books today. Not necessarily a message I want to send, but sometimes it's necessary. Oh boy, all right. You humbled me a little. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Check out that waffle shop up there too. Ooh, got a set armor there. Ooh, and a legendary. The Aegis, oh yeah, gotta take that. Self repairs armor on completing an encounter room. You know what I could do is piss off a lot of people and pass on this again. But that's just, that. that I mean, there's, there's really, that's just being cruel. At that point, Bear, come on, man. Is it even funny to you anymore? A little bit, if I'm being honest. Yeah, kind of. I think I'm just going to take these off so I'm not encumbered. Leave y'all behind. And then, yeah, I think we got plenty of HP here still. What you got? 
increased magic find. That's pretty cool. Plus three strength. Repair powder would be a nice thing to have. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just pop that pot. Hang on to this. Get the lawful perk from it. Still looking for morality. I think there is something that we will find along the way that is going to give me, like, an opportunity to boost that pretty significantly. I'm not 100% sure about that. I really like this new track. This area in general, I'm a pretty big fan of. Golden chest, sure. I'm having fun blowing these up. Holy shit. Just keep your distance, let the bear do the work. Let the bear and the burn. Get them learned. Ah, I want a curse key. I already got two, I'm fine. Those are blocks, sadly. Alright, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, gold, I guess, yeah, we have to find a use for it all eventually, right? We did upgrade the Bible, after all. Here's hoping we can get, like, three more auras. Yeah, I'd be down with that. We did see the uh, upgrade to auras previously in the trade selection as well, so it's likely we'll get that option again based on what we've seen so far. We've got enough gold for a shop here. Happy Snow Launcher. Lucky hit chance. When combat start, intimidate all enemies in the room. We don't have any boots right now, and this could match our equip load, so might not be a bad idea. Bone Wand, Jade Bracelet, each point of dex additionally grants chance to repeat attack. That's pretty cool. Minus 3% total. <laughs> yeah, probably not for us. Whoa, what the heck? Let's see what hit me there. Uh, another key? I feel like I could probably go for the treasure, lo treasure rock here. Uh, Yeti. Very nice. What the heck? Happy Pike. Nah, that ain't it. Not for me, friend. I'll check the accessory again here. Oh, it's my favorite guy! Commander Walrus! Can I get a bear F in chat? This is the closest I got to an official salute for Commander Walrus. Although it will be appropriate as we watch him die, I suppose, so. Yeah, that is, that is a pretty fitting emote after all. Or perhaps it's a preemptive bear F for me. Because Commander Walrus has something to say about it. As he tends to. There he goes. Thank you for your service. He was just days away from retirement. Had to happen. On dash, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed ruthless hit. Plus two mana. Plus one armor. Hits with melee attacks. Inflict armor break. Yeah, That's not great. I don't want any of it, to be honest. Yeah, this is a, this is a big old whiff right here, dude. I guess I'll take the gauntlets. It does at least help me somehow, even though... Sadly, it is going to over-encumber me as well. Maybe I could get rid of... Hmm. I just need some more strength, I think, so I can increase my equip load. All right. A walrus with a Kimbo Mac 10s is my kind of guy. You can't not love him, right? All right, no need to fully recover still there. We're gonna go ahead and save our souls. Let's see if we can find some strength somewhere in here too. Do -do -do -do. Random pot, why not? Whoop. Sneaky bear. With his sneaky bear. Ooh, fun, a rainbow pot. We'll keep that for later. Candy, absolutely. Pretty sure if I just stand in the center, it's gonna be my best bet. Pawn shop, not fantastic for us right now. I'll go get a, another key, I guess. 
Let's use more at ends. As close as I can get to the middle, usually gonna be for the best, I think, here. I'll take the broccoli, fine. We don't really have a lot of decks, I guess. Does it still grant maximum dashes if you level up your decks the way it did with max HP? Or did they change that too? <laughs> Speaking of fucking guns, Papa stuff. Although this would uh, reduce the effectiveness of our bear. Periodically confuse all enemies in the room every eight seconds. When you have only dealt one elemental damage type in the past four seconds, you gain increased effect of elemental ailments. That would work with us right now, right? Because we get the chilling damage, and I don't think we have anything else at the moment. Though that does limit our future potential. I think I'd rather reroll this set, too, actually. Gain double increased stats from strength. No thanks. Periodically trigger three psionic blasts on a random enemy during combat, dealing explosion damage every two seconds. That sounds awesome. Let's go get more decks, I guess. Just randomly blowing up enemies every two seconds? That sounds incredible. Pretty sure that's going to be a big help. Plus one heart. 5% increased attack speed. Plus one evade. Hello. We don't have a helmet yet either. Huh. I could take off the breaker gauntlets and make room for that. I like that idea. Although I guess I could just be more encumbered and that's not that big of a deal. What else we got? Uncommon Hawk Companion. I think I'd rather have the plus one heart over the damage to dragons, but maybe I'll regret that in a bit. Keep the souls, I guess. Thanks, Gatorbot. You're my favorite mechanical uh, reptile themed chat member. Here at Bear Taffy, we recognize that you have many bear themed streamers to choose from. We appreciate you picking this one. Doo -doo. Uh, increased maximum tipsiness by one. Gain a petrified soul heart. Nice. We'll see if there's still maybe anything better than that stone plate ring, although I kind of doubt it. I don't want them all to be companion summons, though. Am I your favorite greeting based chat member? Easily. But my apologies to any greeting based chat members I may be forgetting, but with the mod sword, I feel like odds are in your favor there. I personally think I am the uh, best animal candy combo named streamer on this website, but I know I'm biased. <laughs> Hello. Templar's Might. Double increased effect of status effects applied by auras and 50% increased aura area radius. I think I'll be taking that, sir. I believe I will be equipping that. Thank you very much. That's a big old circle, dude. Evil shop. Oh, we're good. We're good people. Go to the good people shop. Get an anger pot on consumption. Plus one luck. Or plus 20 power. I think we'll take this. Might as well use the repair powder, I guess. And grab that. It's gonna bring us to plus three. I suppose I can just buy this. I don't know if I'd mind using this, actually, especially because this reduces our equip load pretty significantly. Yeah. Let's do that for a little while. Saltwater Taffy is pretty fucking good. I haven't had it in a long time. Ever since I uh, popped my... Not my uh, filling, but my onlay off of my tooth, I've been terrified to eat chewy candy. It hasn't fully stopped me, mind you. 
But stuff like saltwater taffy in particular, I feel like I'm just daring it to pop out of my tooth again. Come on, you old baby. I'm doing my worst. Hmm, random resin? Why not? Yeah, this is a massive aura that's doing a ton of damage. And it's pretty great. I think I'm going to go ahead and pop that mana pot there. Got three resins for later. And we are finding more strength here, which I would love to increase the equip load again. However... Oh, we're really close to it, man. But this petrified heart is too good to pass up. Man, this aura is doing work now. Oh, that's rough, Ace. Sorry to hear that. That's a hassle. Elise and I noticed we had a uh, charge at our favorite pancake place back in Vegas. Like a month after we moved out of that town. And I was tempted to, like, you know file for a fraudulent charge. And I decided, you know what, they deserve it. We'll give them an extra 30 bucks for all the good pancakes they've given us over the years. I'm keeping an eye on it just in case it happens again, but they earned it. Ah, random enchantment? Could be fun. I'm not really tempted to make space for either of these, but I can't remember if I also have got an additional layer of curse. Yeah, I didn't think I did. Eh, let's roll the dice. Why not? It could be fun. Shocking. Lightning damage now instead of cold. Okay. Doesn't really make a big difference, I guess. More strength. Whoa, hello. Quick clear there. Good stuff. And equipment load is good to go. Love to see it. What's this dude? No offense, but you seem a bit wimpy. Oh well. The beer here is decent, but my brew is legendary. The, oh, that's right. He sells the bottle of mead. Uh, let's hit that black market, I think. Get down here and see what's going on. I wonder if anybody's going to give me some uh, good alignment from this. I don't think so. Yeah, these are all evil. Hmm. Beam sword does sound like fun. Tommy guns. Shock and shotgun. Paper sheet. Summons a paper crane, which increases the effect of status effects applied. Yeah, we want to try to keep our morality leaning good here. Yeah, the, the black market's not going to be the place where we go to try to... Oh, yeah, certainly not going to buy a cigarette, for God's sake. It's a nice way to get evil if we need to, though. Let's see. Um, I think I'll go blow up the obsidian chest here. Oh, backwards! How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Thanks for the 74 months. Bear hugs, please, for him. You got into this at all, Ryan? It is a good game. It's like very early in development. So it's only getting better. 1% increased effect of debuffs per point of equip load on you. Hmm. That's not going to make a big difference. Lightning Force is fun, though. A tally of five damaging triggers trigger a chain lightning that deals between six and 1,000 <laughs> damage. I love the variance to that. This would give us a lot of strength, though, and a lot more equip load, which would mean I could use better equipment, probably. But it is a little late for that. I'm honestly kind of tempted to take a reroll here. I'm going to go for it. Lucky hit's still pretty low chance. Mind spirals is still not great. Static blows shows up again. I'm inflicting the maximum stacks of shock to an enemy. The stacks are consumed. Oh, wait. This hasn't shown up yet. Oh. This would work pretty well with our... With our shocking druid Bible. All right. That's cool. 
And we'll take a set item, I guess. Sure. I'm not sure if the nature leaves... Holy shit. Uh, apply the shock effect that we're looking for, but I hope they do. Alright, there he goes. I think he goes to the center too, doesn't he? Or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Yeah. I don't really need to do much to help him out, though. The bear's got this covered for the most part. Bye-bye. What was your favorite game of 2023? I have given it zero thought, to be honest with you, apart from this very moment. But let me think about this first. Recover a heart whenever you repair your armor. A plus one armor there. Increase lightning damage. That would work. It's a little bit better than our traffic cone. Yeah, I could take that replacement. I could even just leave this behind. Lightning damage by weapons at upgrade level four and higher inflicts zap. A lightning damage over time ailment that deals 100% of lightning infliction damage is lightning damage three times per second. Whoa. And gives us suppression. That's pretty sick. That's way better than the breaker con. Let's see. Yeah, let's take that. That's really good. All right. Uh, good to go. Later on, hey. What was my favorite game of 2023? Give, give, give me some reminders. Because honestly, I'm struggling to even remember anything new that we played this year. I guess Dave came out this year, didn't it? Dave's certainly out there. Well, obviously, we've enjoyed that in early access as well. Try a random pod, sure, why not? Holy shit, nice evade there, I guess. That got crazy fast. 18% crit hit chance in the last 10 rooms. What do we have going on here? Stamina pot. I think I would rather have that. Anger potion increases attack speed. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think I'd rather have this one. Uh, go to chocolate. And more strength? Do I still need it? Not really. I don't really need the keys either, though. I guess stats are always nice. Good, another shop. More potions, okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and pop this, I guess. Grab that, and then... Spider silk. Nah, I'm good. I'm pretty happy with my weapon here. Really, the, the whole build is... looking pretty outstanding, so any opportunity to get more stats at this point is probably for the best. HP's looking great, too. Coming to bait as well. And another trait. Each point of dex additionally grants lucky hit chance. That's not going to affect too much. Crit hit chance is 56%. How in the world? How did that happen? What's giving us 56% crit hit chance? Crit hits with melee and ranged attacks trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. Hmm. That could be fun with this, actually. If we were to put this... We'd have to drop something else with, like, the stone plate ring, I guess. I kind of want to try that. that. Sounds like fun. Oops. No, oh, my buddy. Come back, friend. Okay, there's that. I do have one luck from my accessory. That's just lucky hit chance, though, right? There's two times for crit hits. What in the world is giving me... 56%? I have the Wrath Potion? Which is accounting for a little bit. That's so weird. Alright, anyway. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, we'll do more consumables, I guess, sure. Never have enough of those. Oh, baby, especially when they're this stuff. Give me that, then give me that. Very nice. Three decks, sure. Sounds great. 
got a thing that was lose the chance to crit, but chance for crushing damage at 100%. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten that one too. That was nice. Yeah, there's been some fun traits. Two additional soul hearts. Wow, we are going to have plenty of HP. Here's my evade, sadly. Hell yeah. One final rest. Go ahead and attune. Why not? And then we may still want to replace the helmet, I suppose. I also don't think this is working. You get crit for intelligence. Is that what it is? Increased effect of buffs. Mental empowerment, burn aura. Psionic blast, static blows. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm still pretty confused about it. Yeah, I don't think this uh, I don't think this is doing what I think it was, would do. Triggers the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. This is a magic weapon that I thought was non-channeling. But I don't think it's been firing. I think we just got really unlucky with crits. It has to be a melee or range tied weapon to trigger it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Okay, cool. Time to fight death. It's kind of funny that death is another one that does those stand in the center attack patterns. And of course, he's made the most vulnerable in the moments that he chooses to do that. <laughs> Like this. Yeah, it's pretty easy to focus on moving and damaging when he's just standing still like that. And now he's dead. Is that every type of HP bar? It is, isn't it? That's hilarious. Regular hearts, soul hearts, uh, suppression, I believe, or whatever that's called, specific to the boss. And then you got armor, block, and evade. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Greed's crown. 15% reduced damage dealt. But with the set, increases damage per gold you have. Wow, that's pretty cool. But right now would not be good unless we could find its pairing. Diamond armor just grants three armor straight up, but it is worse than the Templars might. And elementalist rope, yeah. Well, I'll just pick this up just in case, I guess. Pretty sure it doesn't actually affect us if we're not equipping it, so... Should be fine. Let's just pop that potion and then... Add that in the empty slot. And up we go. Nice amount of gold currently, absolutely. I don't think we're going to be able to achieve that alignment we were looking for, sadly. But I will head to heaven all the same. And hope that I'll maybe get a little lucky. And attempt to clear this. This will be our first time entering the high heavens. That's pretty fun. Oh, this could be what we're looking for. Let's see if this just lets us get really lucky here. Oh, that's a fun enemy. And song. Okay, the, I love heaven so far. Which makes a lot of sense. Last key, here we go. Praetor armor. 30% increased damage dealt at close range. Yeah, no thanks. Ambrosia is certainly looking nice. Additional highest attribute. Rainbow Dragon owns. Big fan of that. Way to stray from the crowd there. I know, yeah, I've built an entire community around sacrilege and blaspheme, and here I am being like, wow, heaven's dope, I like the colors. That was convenient. Golden candy. At least we fucking love this. Here we go. That attack speed, although actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just waste a bomb and go for that. Literally going for the greed with the greed play. Here we go then. Flare mantle, yeah, that ain't it. 
increased damage to non crits. Now let's go Ambrosia again. We are uh, tearing through these enemies in here, man. It feels pretty good. I don't think I need keys. We'll just blow up chests if we find them. More credit chance. Uh, let's go with the highest attribute again. Holy cow, that was intense. I love this song, dude. This is a lot of fun. All right, I tune items. We'll try for the set item again, I guess. And I think I want to wait until... I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I can use all of my infusions and stuff here. And it should last for this upcoming fight along with the remainder of the run. I can't quite remember. I think I'm going to take a chance on it because it would help us quite a bit to take all these things prior to this combat. All right, let's do it. You've come a long way, mortal. Allow me a moment's introduction. I am Bahamut, the Celestial Guardian, Sentinel of the High Heavens and Arbiter of Purity. I am surprised a mortal like you made it this far. Only those of untainted heart may ascend beyond. Your determination is impressive, but I can't let you proceed. It is my sacred duty to stop you. My decree is absolute. Ooh, that's fun. Buddy, you're supposed to be attacking the boss, actually? You wouldn't mind getting over there? A prison of light. Oh boy, okay. Oh, that's fun. Not very threatening, but I like the display. I did get a dodge out of it, at least. Hey, bud! Welcome back. Welcome to your center attack position. Although, honestly, with a fight like this, I don't know, maybe this is meant to be your opportunity to get some damage in. Maybe the stars guide me. Alright, there he goes. So close, jeez. Okay, I think he's at the threshold. We just have to wait for this attack pattern to finish. There he goes. Have you ever wondered about your true destiny? Don't question it any longer. I can see it bright as the stars. You are destined to perish here. That's it. Well, that was underwhelming. Oh, boy. Okay, yes, yeah, starting to get a little concerning here. He's starting to just unleash hell in heaven. And now he's dead, I think. Although we probably just have to survive this attack again. There's a weird suction thing going on with that. Cool. Bahamut bested. Leader Hosen. Rare gunpowder ring increases explosion damage and the handcuffs disables your offhand, but your weapon's considered a two-handed weapon. Eh. Kind of garbo. Oh, well. I think that might do it. Yeah, they're not going to be finding me worthy here, sadly. Unworthy. Requires a morality alignment of four, and I'm currently at two, I believe. Yep. Not quite there. Oh, well. Try it next time, I guess. I do think that's the world tier upgraded, at least. Because I think all we had to do was defeat the Bahamut there, and then we should be at uh, world tier six now, or maybe seven, even? Now seven. Achieving this world objective unlocked angelic shops and enabled paths to unlock new classes. Cool. Good to see. Leveling up the Paragon, too. Oh boy, which honestly, I'm not really sure what's going on with that at this point. I did want to check to see if I could find where it was that the blacksmith was guaranteed as well. Although it's honestly very difficult to remember where anything was in this thing. I feel like they could give this thing a little more TLC, this whole skill tree situation. It was immediately off-putting as you 
saw with me before. Okay, this is the one I was thinking of. Blacksmiths are now guaranteed to appear on floor three, six, and nine instead of appearing randomly. Okay, so it's not every floor. It's every three floors-ish. Cool. Sit on the celestial and infernal throne. Cool. All right, so either way, we're good. But now we have a lot more likelihood to reach the uh, celestial throne, I assume. So now... We should look for what we need to do to unlock some new classes. Soldier class requires upgrading a pull armor spear to level 4 without help from equipment items. Interesting. Defeat the guardian of the shadow planes with the sorcerer. I have the sorcerer, right? I have the pyromancer. There's the sorcerer. Getting a few wins with them. Defeat the leader of the shadow planes, it said? Yeah, defeat the Guardian of the Shadow Plains with the Sorcerer. Is that just the Hell Path? I think so. Defeat the Guardian of the High Heavens with the Gunslinger for the Cyborg. Oh, that's cool. Defeat the Guardian of the High Heavens with the Mystic. I'm also not 100% sure if we have that class. Where's the Mystic? Oh, this is the Mystic. You gain double the stats from charms and weapon enchantments. That's cool. Oh, the neutral gates, the shadow plane. Okay, yeah, we could try that, I guess. Although that wouldn't get us close to the world tier, would it? So instead, maybe we... Ascend on the Infernal Throne as the warrior. Ooh, we could try that. We could definitely try that. I like that idea. Ascend to the Infernal Throne as the warrior for the Demon Hunter class. Okay, so we're going to hell. We're going to be evil. Let's do it. Hey, Ice. I'm liking the uh, key ring start, too. That's been pretty good. This is just a good old-fashioned warrior run here, man. This is tried and true, baby. A few more keys, sure. Well, one more key, I guess. Now, this is one of the few games that I know for a fact I will be playing offline for fun, even beyond my uh, time creating content with it. It's that damn good. Let's see. I do remember this guy's early weapon situation. You know, a little lackluster. I feel it's a bit easier to get evil than good. Well, it's certainly for me right now. I think that's mostly because we haven't had the opportunity to uh, unlock um, the the good shops like we have with the evil ones. Like the black market, for example, obviously makes it a lot easier for us to be evil. Oh, come on. Why you got to do it like that? There we go. Ooh, the crits. Massive help. There she goes. Not too bad. Twitch integration would, would be pretty good for this game, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not a bad idea. I'm going for an early set here. Let's see what this is. Additional suppression. And all enemies are considered dragons. Huh. That's interesting. Block and additional thrusting damage on melee attacks. Is this a melee attack? It sure is. Three intelligence. Additional lucky hit chance. This just seems like fun. Yeah, I kind of want to try it. It's a big equip load, but... I think it's a good idea. Plus, it looks cool. That's good enough for me. Do, 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 do. Strength time. I don't think I've gotten a single stat yet, unfortunately. I also need a weapon badly. Oh boy, yeah, these guys are making me well aware of that. Any strength, any weapons I can find. Here we go. Quick frostbite staff, tomahawk, balloon hammer. Intimidates on hit. Why wouldn't it? 
Oh man, that's tempting. <laughs> no, the scaling's terrible too. I just kind of want to take it as a goof, but you know, go to Mohawk, I guess. We might as well keep that other one up equipped here, and let's go with the event. Uh, strength book. There's a bookmark in the tome. Take it. Yes. Plus 25 equip load capacity. That's pretty sick. Okay. Ooh, much better range on this guy now. Nerdy. Much better damage, too. Well, not really significantly better, but... I'll take it. Cool, a couple experience points. Let's see if we can find an even better weapon. Who isn't intimidated by a rubber hammer? I know if I saw somebody charging at me with, like, the confidence of someone wielding a blade... But with a rubber a rubber hammer, I think I might be more scared. Headhunter's Coral Flail. 30% increased damage dealt to bosses. I wonder if a dragon is inherently a boss. That'd be interesting. Viviana! Get on board, please, all the bear hugs for an OG pile member for 10 goddamn years. Liviana the first. Thank you, Liv. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. It blows my mind, too. I know. It's 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 difficult to comprehend. And therefore, I refuse to. Yo, Fees! As the owner of Fees' fullbacks, I want to say GG. Thanks for a great year. The Patreon League was a lot of fun. Thank you for the bits, dude. And that was a good game, yeah. I felt fortunate that I uh, got the one of the worst performances all year out of both your and Colt of the Lambs teams for my <laughs> playoff run. But I'll take it, dude. I'll take my first... Fantasy League trophy. Yeah, that was a fun time. Definitely looking forward to next year. I'm gonna try to defend my crown for the hosts. That was a lot of bombs. Wow, nice. Let's go for an accessory here, too. Who dares to enter my lair? Z Immediately utilizing the suppression. Okay, I don't love that flail. I don't know if that's going to be the way I roll here, especially with the range on this thing. Get a few more bear hugs, please, while we're at it. Ain't not nothing. Darn tootin', dude. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome on in the pile. I need help in this run already, dude. Why is the warrior so ineffective? What's, go what's going on here? Does he deal more damage up close, maybe? Is that a thing? I don't think so. Seems about the same. Alright, well. The ultimate example of the center attack pattern. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Proven foolish. Oh, boy. Nearly there. Nearly there. There it is. It's easy to feel inferior coming off the run like that, too, obviously. Make me replace my armor already, huh? Oh, this is an accessory. Increased damage depending on how good your alignment is. Damage bonus doubles against dragons! Oh, shit! We're on our way, baby. Let's hit that good shop, please. Oh, yeah. Increase melee damage with the accessory, although sadly that is obviously going to replace that, so that ain't going to do it. Increase mana regeneration. Ah, oh, why are you going to give me these things? I guess I still buy them to increase my alignment, right? Yeah. Oh, it was supposed to be evil. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> but we can still make progress towards something. The world tier requires us to sit on the throne of either one, so we'll get that done. And I mean, come on now, pointing me in a particular direction. I think I'm gonna go, go ahead and let that happen. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll get Demon Hunter eventually. Cool. Some things are just outside of my control, man. Like being a good dude. Burger time. just smoke some cigs while wearing shiny armor. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty easy to go back to evil, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll find a, another accessory that's even better later. But we are, we've already gotten quite a bit better as a result of that. Your hits with striking damage inflict instability and trigger a shockwave on hit. 
Each point of strength additionally grants plus 5% crit hit multiplier or on the tally of pro five primary attacks at close range, mark the enemy with fighter's mark or grant two ancestral spirit companions, which grant increased melee attack speed. Sure. Sounds like fun. Let's try for another weapon here, I think. Burning Flame Burge. Flame Burge. Baleful Blizzard Scroll. Yeah, I'll take that. It does give up the block, but I think I'm willing to make that trade. Cool. Hopefully that's a little better. Yeah, it seems a little better. It's have pretty decent range, too. All right. Uh, pawn Shop wouldn't be terrible here. Yeah. Go there. Get the bombs for it after all. Definitely gonna sell this, sell this flail, which should make me a pretty penny, and then let's get rid of the warrior armor as well. Yeah, it's worth it. Nice blinky. And axe doesn't need to stick around nice, and then that's yeah, probably good enough. Yeah, let's get rid of this too. I don't need that. And we can go right to a normal shop. Cool. Jellyfishing net. 15% increased lightning damage. That's not all that great. Snake basket. Increased poison hit damage. Yeah, that's also not fantastic. Um, the ethereal goal or the ethereal dice are pretty expensive, but could very well be worth it. Hmm. I don't have a companion besides these guys right now, do I? Oh, jellyfish only take up half a slot each. Ooh. I'm not dealing any lightning damage is the thing, but I might later, I guess. And they can just, you know, help out on their own, too. I think I might prefer the poison, though. And then a blacksmith, not really worth it for us right now. We could rather go golden chest. Yeah, that damage from this flame bridge already is really good. Love it. Oh, and a bunch of money, hell yeah. I had to run with like four slots and I had hella jellies. Heli, heli fish. Heli from Severance fish. Ooh, let's see if I can find that wyvern armor slash wyvern helmet. That would be pretty sick here. I get some bear luck for the wyvern helmet. With enough bear luck, we can make it happen. God damn, we have gotten an upgrade to the damage already, at the very least. Come on, Wyvern Helmet. Come on, Wyvern Helmet. Get some, you, know, you know you want to. It would be really cool of you. Here? Here? Did they do it? Did they do it? Let's go! Quick peek at what we're missing. Just a quick peek. Oh yeah, gotta get that, dude. Dragon Lancer's Eye activated. All enemies are considered dragons. Grants damage bonus doubled against dragons. Holy shit. Now just to get good. All right. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my weapon, although salad's not going to do me a lot of good, so I guess I'll, I'll get cursed. Who knows? Maybe it's something legendary. Maybe it's a dragon slayer. How did I just get hit there? I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. I wonder if I want to blow that up. That could be interesting, but nah. Arcane Titan Sickles. Oh, shit. Each point of strength grants crit hit chance to this weapon. Yo! Yo! Yo, 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 yo. Yo, Joe! That's probably pretty damn good, dude. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty outstanding. I gotta stop getting hit, though. Jeez. Gotta be more careful. Okay, uh, golden chest for sure. More money, baby. Oh, man, this is starting to feel real nice. Sure. Elven bow. No go. I'll pawn that off real quick, though. There you go, friend. That's for you as well. 
And kind of tempted to sell the flame bridge. He's probably not going to offer too much for it, though. We need all the strength we can get. On top of the obvious value, now adding crit hit chance is pretty fantastic. Diamond's probably worth it. Especially with the black market. Um, although, again, yeah, we wanted to be good, didn't we? So maybe that's not all that good of an idea. Guaranteed golden chest coming up. That's interesting. I think I could get a red dice. Red die. Yeah, or a few of them. Yeah, and then some lawful, too, which is interesting. Um, enchantment? I'm already enchanted here, and it's already quite good. Although arcane, actually, that's not really going to help, is it? I think you get something else on this. Let's see what that did. It's quick now. Ooh, even better. Nice. And I honestly don't think it's even worth it to use the key to get down here, especially when I want to use the key on the golden chest, so... We'll just call that good, I suppose. Hey, it's a mimic. Nice. That's convenient. Oh, wow. Gaia armor. Stamina surge is permanent. Oh, shit. I wonder if I could use that. Like, if I could equip that, use it. Use a stamina surge, I mean, while I have it equipped, and then keep that effect. I kind of doubt it, but... No, I don't want to go event too, yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, the judgment of all of our statistics. Strength is unworthy. We are fully unworthy to the rats. Yikes, that sucks. Oh, well, let's get some boots. Yeah, your, your, your pals just found me quite unworthy. We'll see how you feel. After I kick your sorry tail. Barry, you seem pretty far on this. Any pro tips? No. <laughs> like, I, I, I know this probably seems disingenuous, but I really don't feel like I'm very good at this still. Like, I've gotten a lot of um, very good builds through the course of my experience with this game. And that's usually when I win. Like, get good builds is honestly going to be my best advice for you because they can get pretty overpowered pretty quickly. Plus three luck and plus three curse. That's an interesting one. On dash gain, Tiny Dancer, a buff that gains grants plus 10 decks and lasts four seconds. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the invincibility after dash, though. That's nice, too. I think I'll take that. Simple and easy. Cool. Rats raided you unworthy, so you killed their king. They started it. Also, that's very true. Rule number one is just don't get hit. Keep that up. You'll be good to go. Rod worse to lower my intelligence. I'm really not getting super lucky with the uh, stats so far, unfortunately. We are doing pretty well, at least. All the same. Definitely going with a petrified heart here. He says immediately passing up a stat gain, although it's certainly not the one we're looking for. The only unfortunate part of this weapon is the range, but I feel like our buddies helped to make up for that. I guess I'm taking the curse here, too, man. I don't know if this is necessarily the best idea, but I do feel like we need some more keys. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, John. Get good, and then proceed to get good but in two distinctly different ways. Cool. Uh, I think I could use some more gold, actually. Here's our best friend, Death. I keep shooting at my own snake. It's pretty safe to assume that that's an enemy, to be fair to me. Uh, we got a basement door here. That might be worthwhile. I think I even took a perk that makes it so that basement doors can't require a second key, so it's probably worth it for us to go check that out here. Strength is nice. Got the fish and chips coming up, too. A black market. Oh, shit. That's not what I expected. Well, this is probably not going to be any good for us. Yeah, sorry, fellas. No thanks. I'm tempted to go back to the flame bridge and see if how or see how we're doing with that still. It does seem to be hitting a lot harder, but I do feel 
like the other one is better based on DPS. Hits with primary attacks grant a stack of rage. On combat start, gain full stacks of battle rush. Periodically trigger your on-combat start effects, including this one, every 10 seconds. Battle Rush is a stackable buff that grants 3% increased damage and movement speed per stack. Wow, that would be really good. Each point of strength that adds to your crit hit multiplier is also not bad at all. Stacks of Rage grant 4% increased attack speed per stack. Oh, I mean, that's really good, too. These are both really good. I think the Rage is better, though. I think it'll last longer in the boss fights. Gotta go vent. Goodies! And keys? I'll take more money, I guess. Epic item! Let's do it. We'll see how the flame burge does in this fight. Actually, let's go back to this thing. Yeah, I think it's gonna be better for this guy. Oh, yeah, big time. You cheater. You knew I was gonna kill you. And I'm dead to god dang rights. Well, alright, bye. You say so. Thief in the shadows. Souls for bear. Got some epic boots here. 20 strength. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Not even going to consider anything else. If you say so, yeah, I'll take the ones that give me plus 20 strength. Appreciate it. One stamina. Absolutely. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is just lawful, not good, so it's not going to mean that much. Yeah, we're still trying to get good here, so. There we go. No need for accessories either. Tune them up. Okay, so that means... We have now a 32% chance to crit with this weapon. Let's make it a 33. And obviously then I should consider the bonuses to crit hit multiplier as well. Which I had been thinking of, but not fully wanted to commit to. Something, something, just like my relationship, hey! He's a 90s stand-up comedian. Gee, hey, this guy hates his wife! He's just like me! It's not true, I'm doing a bit. I actually love my wife a lot. Which is probably the same situation for them, they just didn't want to say it. Maybe I'm being a little too optimistic. Sweet. That's Endeavor. And it's 25% to not very effective multiplier. How about a not very effective pot, huh? Maybe the optimal amount of money. Ah, it's a soul shop. Honeycomb? Oh, you can have three bees. Which grants one to maximum stacks of poison. That's kind of fun. Oh, sadly, we don't have enough companion slots for that. Uh, I'll save my save my souls here, I guess. I can't decide if it's worth it for the soul heart or the strength there. I think it will go with the strength, actually. Be real greedy on the crit hit chance. How do you get more companion slots? It's pretty rare, apparently. I did have a run that had, like, four, but I guess that's uncommon. I rule over C. I am Neptune. Face my wrath. I am the most intimidating creature in the entire ocean. Fear me. Fear me. Oh, dodge. Nice. I've done this 10 companions. Most I can do is 10. That's a lot, dude. Mm hmm. On dash after. Ah, the hidden blades. I love these. 
Yeah, we take that happily. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Tyler's rope again. Nah, I'm good. This is a really good kit. Wow. All right, we don't really need much help. I had to take a perk that disabled any stats they would give me. I mean, you got ten companions. Who gives a damn, right? Let them do the work. Just sit back and enjoy the dub. Alchemy stash. Now nah, a burger for sure. Gotta get that bird. God, I kind of love hidden blades, man. As little as it might hit, it just makes me feel cool. That matters more. Ooh, that's fun for the uh, flame burge. On a tally of eight melee attacks, kick the nearest enemy, dealing 600 to 900 striking body damage and triggering your on dash effects. Oh, that's fun. With our blades. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get some cake, why not? Oh man, we're gonna have so many blades now, holy shit. That's dope. Uh, pawn shop, yeah, that's a good idea. We don't really need a set item anymore. Let's get rid of some of this shit. Thank you, and then we'll do the Gaia armor, which I guess I'm not gonna care about anymore. That is a lot of money for that, that's nice. Uh, I guess that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I could sell this still. I don't really want to. I could sell the buckler, too. These are both two-handed, so... Yeah. That's eh, not really worth it for the gold, I think. I might as well keep that in the slot. Um, can I repair... Maybe up to level four? Or, uh, upgrade, rather. Yes. Yeah, oh, I haven't done that yet. That's pretty sick. And let's get a soul heart. Hell yeah. So many blades. And a tavern? I think I'd prefer, or prefer the consumables here. I'm anti-social. Oh, damn it. I didn't even see what hit, hit me there. Thanks, soul heart. Another repair powder not really helping me out right now, sadly. Oh, man, look how fast that Yeti went down. Goddamn. And another strength here. Terrific. Certainly ideal for this floor. Another epic item. Let's do it. A dragon! Well, I mean, everything's a dragon, I guess. Everything's a dragon. Everything's a dragon. Ah, uh, Mr. Secret Room. No. God damn, I think that actually might double the dragon bonus, dude. <laughs> Ooh, that was crazy. Oh, I haven't even used my gift box yet. Some wine and a flask refill. Not that that's going to do much. Immunity to push and pull effects. That's pretty cool. Rubber gloves. It's going to take a lot to get me to replace the hidden blades here. Hits with melee attacks inflict armor break. That's not bad. It actually gives me armor too, which is pretty helpful. But I like my hidden blades. I'll just take this, I guess. Good shop. I'm a good boy. Additional crit hit chance. Sure. Eden's Touch. While good, your primary attacks inflict judgment. Additionally, judgment damage is now based on total infliction damage. Infliction damage. From... This? What is infliction damage? That seems like it's probably pretty good. This would allow us to be fully good as well. Yeah, I guess I'm getting rid of that. Inflict his poison, bleed, etc. Okay, okay. He's legendary. This is a crazy build now, dude. Got real good real quick. Okay, we've reached our pinnacle of goodness. We shall be able to ascend to the high heavens. Let's just keep getting some strength, baby. I think we might just be critting about every attack at this point. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, we gotta be careful about the HP though. Let's take a look at that crit chance here. 
52%. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot. Trying, sure. Get two secret rooms in a row, incredible luck. I'm, I'm, I have no idea what secret rooms look like. I haven't looked out for them yet. Uh, mobility blessing is a shrine that grants increased stamina recovery. Sick, let's do it. Let's take whatever the hell that one was and go ahead and replace it with that. Random resin seems good too. I think I'll just pop a repair powder after this. I don't think I need to hang out at two of those without any armor at all. Or just drop it, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, burger time. Oh boy, I nearly died there, my god. I have to use a flask. Let's see. Ooh, power is a stat that by default increases the, or equals to 1% increased damage and increased area of effect per point of power. 40% increased damage. That's gotta be pretty goddamn good. We are hitting with slashing damage, not striking damage here. So yeah, brawlers. Outstanding. And maybe I just sell the cobalt shield here. I guess I could do that. Probably not gonna use it. A truly magnificent piece. 15 gold. Really need the short end of that deal, huh? Baleful Muramasa, Bone Scythe, Devil Horns, the Deadly Partisan. Yeah, that's a whiff. Let's go to the tavern and heal up, though. Thank you. Are we enchanted here? Could use a green blossom. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. And meat shank. Nice. Oh my god, what the hell? So that damage bonus seems like it mattered quite a lot. Cool. Oh my goodness, that's too many bombs. Uh, I don't want to curse, so I guess I'll just take a companion here. Alright. Oh boy. This will be fun. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Just to mix it up. He's dead. Good lord! My commander, please lend me your strength. Oh, it's not enough. I die. This is exactly what I'm talking about, man. Like, I, I don't even feel like I did anything of note. It's just the build has gotten completely out of control. But I guess I did choose what made the build, so I'll take credit there. Each tiger cub grants 20% melee crit hit chance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Sure. Let's get tipsy real quick first. I don't have a companion slot for that, but maybe I'll find one eventually. Keep it going. More strength too, nice. Okay, I think we're very near insta-kill territory with this level of damage. Let's check the epi epic weapons armory, just out of curiosity. Disenchanting Rift Wand. Shocking Kekoli? Is that how you say that? Triggers an explosion on hit. That's kind of tempting. Paper bomb can I? I'll take this out of curiosity. Um, still don't need the repair powder, so there we go. And then, oh damn it! What did I just do? I didn't mean to take that potion. Crap. Okay. Let's see how this does, just for a room. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh shit! This might be better. Might be an upgrade here, man. Although this doesn't have the crit hit chance, but if that's the case, then that means it's even better. The explosion damage alone is nuts. Uh, let's shop again, sure. 
Assassin hood. Hey, Ariel. Bear pelt hood. I feel obligated to take that. Each point of strength additionally grants 1% increased two-handed weapon damage. Oh my god. And grants five strength. What the fuck? Grizzly mine's crazy. I do want to keep my wyvern armor. That's pretty cool. Multiple potions. I think I'll blow this up. Let's see what that yields. I think I do still prefer the attack pattern of this thing. Although this grants me the block, which is pretty nice. Load up, yeah. That's not bad. More strength. Oh boy. Oh god damn, that was close. Uh, blacksmith's still not doing much. I suppose I could upgrade this thing. I don't really want to, though. I think I'd rather go for the golden chest. Okay, this, the sickles are better. But they haven't been, or the other thing hasn't been fully upgraded either. And it allows me to have an offhand. So I think it's going to depend on whether or not I find a good offhand here. Before I decide if I want to actually swap to that thing. Ooh, boy. Nice. Ailments inflicted by non-crits have double effect. Your crit hit chance is zero, but you have the... Cr ah, there's the crushing hit thing. Each point of strength additionally grants currently a uh, bonus 250% crit damage. Yeah, I'm going to be sticking with the sickles now, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dealing 18,000 damage per hit. That's not bad. Yeah, rocking a 465% crit chance multiplier. What the fuck, dude? Here we go, man. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This is maybe the most broken I've ever been in this game. This is ridiculous. We haven't even popped our pots yet. I don't know what I'm looking for at this point, dude. Frostbane. Big Chomper. Well, that's a fun one. Precise Blacksmith Hammer. Bring us to 62% crit chance. I mean, I'm not replacing anything, obviously, so I'll just take the Epic, I guess. It's a little pricier. This is probably going to be a law shop, yeah. Uh, War Belt, Clover, plus one luck. I mean, that's maybe worth it, but probably not. How's my alignment looking? Leaning Lawful. Already pure good, so I guess that's all that really matters there. Hey, Ubi. I mean, it seems worth it, but it's also a lot of souls. It's basically all of them, so never mind. We'll just move on. Let's just waltz through the rest of this. Can't help but want to attune. Let me get the chance. Good lord. Oh, you just gotta not get hit at this point. As strong as I am, I am pretty low on HP. A convenient dodge. And sadly, these guys are known to hit me quite often. Burger time. A little cake too, sure. Oh, I walked right into that. That was dumb. I saw that the whole damn time, dude. Get over here, you son of a gun. There we go. Eh, I'll take a little more money, I guess. Doesn't seem critical at this point, but neither does the intelligence. But that's still good. Oh my god. And one more level. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Not really necessary. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's not going to matter. Booze buff effects are permanent and have double increased effect. Or when you deal a critical hit, gain berserk. Yep. That's the one. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the flame bridge now, I guess. And take that. And the power pot, which will replace the T-bone steak. And the dice that allows exchanging a trade for a random new one. Not bad. Not necessary, though. Let's keep the rest of that. 
Um, I might just have the dump frostbane coming up here too for more potion. There we go, and more money. Although I do have the optimal amount of money, I just realized. Didn't want to ruin that, but oh well. God, you can see how much difference the actual weapon attack makes compared to the companions. They don't even make a difference anymore. Well, I guess poison could mean something eventually. Uh, let's go with another resin here, and we can probably replace one we got. Just a little bit of overkill. Oh, wow, we got every type now, don't we? Damn. Drop that shucker. Off we go. Legendary item. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Hey, death. Let's do it. All right, fun fight. Let's try the second phase and see you later. Stuff, bud. What's that? Lightning damage inflicts burn, and burn damage deals additional... Dealt additionally is based on lightning inflection damage. We're not doing that at all, are we? With the shocking Kikoli, we would be. But I don't want to replace my emblem of Bahamut. So... I guess we'll just pick that up to sell it, although I kind of doubt I'm going to get the opportunity to do that, too. Eh. Just use the uh, potion here, I guess. The achievement was uh, defeat death while having at least 50 strength, which we're currently sitting at 57 due to our massive bonus from the equipment. We have found quite a bit of it in this run, too. Time to go to heaven. Let's do it. I'll take a random pot. Very excited to see how uh, how we handle these heaven enemies this time around. Anger potion will increase attack speed. That's pretty damn good. Uh, I suppose I'll just drop the. Uh, I don't really want to drop the stormfire ring. I think I'll take the crystal pine resin here. Yeah. This one the highest attribute. I think I'm winning. Yeah, it feels like I'm winning. Feel like I got a good shot on this one. Golden pair, absolutely. Hey, thanks, Ace. Yeah, same to you. It's been fun. Glad you're digging it. I really like this song, man. It's a vibe. Very fitting of the area. Continuing to crush it in the soundtrack department is Tiny Rose. Yeah, might as well spend some cash. Twilight Branch, not interested. Dragon Scale Shield, that would be fitting of our build, wouldn't it? Increase melee damage to bosses as well. Oh man, if only I could actually use the offhand. I mean, that'd be a reason to switch to the Kekoli, actually, but I'm pretty sure the Sickles are where it's at right now. Money Bag, summon a Piggy Bank Companion. Each Piggy Bank grants 1% increased damage per gold you have. That's probably a lot better than the Snake, dude. That's a good idea. We're going to do that. See you later, snake friend. Piggy Bank. Oh, and he's adorable. Yeah, that was a great choice. Very good choice there. And we're even stronger now. These might be the biggest numbers I've seen in this game yet. Written for like 30k. Lucky hit chance, too. Why not? Buying here increases your good. Does it? Oh, that's good to know. Literally. I mean, I think we already had capped out, though, right? But, yeah, even still. All right, yeah, no need to gain favor, even though we can't, obviously. I'm not going to replace the helmet, but we'll go this way all the same. Hey, buddy. I did forget to use my things here. Let's pop that stuff real fast and then get started on Bahamut. I'll let him do an attack first just to be nice. 
So it doesn't feel like you didn't get to participate in the fight. There you go, buddy. You very easily killed him in the very first attack pattern, probably. Bye-bye. I've spent a little bit of time wondering about my true destiny. I've spent a little bit more time thinking about kicking your ass, though. See you. Yeah, not out of it yet, though. Hmm. Shark ring. Your next primary attack is a guaranteed crushing hit. Bass and that. Turban. Yeah. No thanks. We're good. Only being a pure good may ascend further. Where does your allegiance lie, mortal? I'm feeling pretty good today, dude. Feeling pretty good today. The light has spoken. Achievement unlocked. What the fuck, man? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Into the high heavens, too, with an alignment of five good. Sick. All right, my first time here. Let's check it out. I was gonna say, maybe I shouldn't just instantly obliterate everything and we can see what they actually do. But it is fun to do that all the same. All right, all right. This one the highest attribute. Wow, that's an interesting attack. Biblically accurate angels, gotta love it, right? Let's get some booze too, why not? Yeah, it's always a sign of quality. Damn, they just enter one of those circles and they pop instantly. That's crazy. This is already fully upgraded. Rusty revolver companion, nah, not really interested in any of those. Bye-bye. More crit hit chance. Definitely need that. Obviously going to need some more of that. Thank you. What does that bring us to? Currently rocking a 76%. Not bad. Yeah, let's get a little tipsy. Let's get in there. It seems you've bested my loyal guardian, Bahamut. Standing before me, it's clear your heart is pure. Yet you keep waging forward on your path of destruction. Your unending ambitions are as evident as ever. You keep defying the tapestry of fate again and again. Even as far as challenging the very heavens themselves. Tell me, mortal, are you prepared to face your ultimate trial? Justice shall prevail. And she's dead. Exhilarating. I sense the profound goodness within your heart. It empowers you beyond mortal strength. You fight with radiant determination. For your final gift, mortal, I shall stop holding back. And she's dead. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Cool. Some souls, and we ascended to the throne of the high heavens. Blessed be your light, your grace. And what's unfortunate about that, obviously, is that I learned absolutely nothing about that fight. <laughs> but we did it! Ascend the celestial throne. You have com accomplished the impossible. You become the embodiment of purity. Praise the Sovereign! They're talking about the pig right now. Chosen by the light! Yes, praise the piggy. We pray to you. A new era of purity dawns! Yay! Bear clap, bear clap, bear clap. Immortal no longer. Now ruling the high heavens. But even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity. Then I die. Wah, wah. All right.
right. That was a heck of a run, dude. A whole bunch of XP. Check the box. I just got to ascend to that infernal throne. Still, of course, got to go on that evil run for the demon hunter class as well. Ascend on the infernal throne is the ranger, the bard, or the warrior. Or the thief. Let's see. Maybe the ranger. I almost forget which one is which. There's the ranger. Getting a few wins with them. You inherently have plus one evade. Let's do a dex build. You yeah, haven't done a dex build in a minute. Do an evil ranger run. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll do that. Holy, that was... That was a unique experience for sure. Minor tiny rogue spoilers, but probably worth it. Early decks, let's go. Man, this is definitely one of those games where you feel the, the, the power run off in a big way. Ah, Sleepy Bear! Wake the Sleeping Bear? It sounds like a terrible idea, but all right. Roar! Oh no. Yep, he's just pissed. I probably shouldn't have done that. But now he's just acting like a DVD screensaver. He hit the corner! Let's go! Alright. 20% increased damage dealt to health. Cool. That's pretty good. And fitting for me. Chat, where did the rogues go? They were too small. I lost track. I'm still trying to find them to this day. Toasty. We did find a ranger, at least. And the Arbiter of Purity. Which, I don't know if you were looking for that, but, uh... You know, just in case. Time to feast! Alright, yeah, we're gonna need a better weapon. We're gonna need to find an armory. Oh, we're sending it in. Yeah, you, you better believe it. That 10-piece. What you got for me early on here, huh? Speaking of things disappearing, man. I poured a full cup of coffee this morning. I have no idea where that shit is. It disappeared. Or somebody, like a coffee gremlin, came into my house and fucking stole it. It's gone. That's an interesting accessory. I already have a helmet. Increased damage with ranged weapons. Quiver certainly makes sense. Increased damage with bows and crossbows. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just take that, I guess. Pretty good for the ranger. Cool. Maybe a mind goblin took it. What's a mind goblin? I never heard of that. I think I might have to get another cup, actually. Because I think that took all the energy I had left. Bola crossbow. Cool. Stackable status effect. Uh, inflicts... Wait. After not refreshing it for one second, consumes all stacks to deal 100% of accumulated infliction damage as explosion damage. Neat. Okay, I'll try that out. Ooh, damn. Wow, that is, uh... So we just hit it once, and then they explode into a fiery blaze. Well, not once, I guess, but... Still, that's pretty sick. I like that a lot. And the flat damage is pretty good, too. Uh, that is a mimic. It is not a mimic. Okay, so that thing that is making me... Confused about whether they're mimics or not. It is definitely worth it, apparently. Uh, probably worth it. Oh, it does take the soul heart first, though. I forget about that. Plus the value of re or resell of items. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see if I can maybe afford something in the shop here. Ooh, broccoli. Oh, I'm so close on the burger, damn it. I'll take the keys, though. That's pretty good. 
And the plus three dex immediately is really nice. I love the range on this thing, too. I'm pretty happy with this build already so far. Let's find some boots. Let's see how effective the bombs are going to be against these guys. Pretty damn good, apparently. You gotta let those five fly, and then... Phase one complete. Alright, let that blow up. Nice. I don't need to take that long. I need to just wait for, like, a brief moment. You know, the economy's in shambles when you can't even afford a burger. Oh, it's too real, man. Should we get an evil shop here? Hoping for some boots. Good check on a set. There's the wyvern helmet again. You're revived once per floor. Oh, this is plus one good, though. Yeah, I don't want that shit. Gross. Uh, I think I like my helmet right now. Let's go ahead and take the energy charm for increased stamina recovery. Evil shop. Evil! Plus five decks. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Get that in there. And once per room on spending gold, grant five to ten souls. That's pretty nice. Already bought another accessory, though. Um... worth it. Hang on to what we got for now. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Go ahead. Uh, hello? That was weird. What the heck? There you go. Oh boy. The damage on this is surprisingly good already. I am into that. Armor of Avernus. Grants a fiery ball orbital that deals damage and inflicts burn. Sure. Cool, bro. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, we'll see what we can find in there. Nah. Nah, that ain't it. No, oh, thank you. Plant boys. I think they still explode on the ground. I think they do. Or at least they pop when they come back up. Got the armor too. Nice. Pawn shop. Probably not necessary here, but we do get ex extra cash, right? From the charm or something? Yeah, plus five to resale value. Eh, let's get a key. Wait until we have more stuff to sell. I wonder how much damage this orbital's actually been doing so far. I feel like a ton. Not enough money for that. Magic weapon probably not going to be useful though, but we could blow it up and find some other value there. Sweet. There we go. Nice. And the blacksmith. Uh, upgrade this guy. I don't know about that. I think I'd rather go to the treasure rock. I think we're going to find something a little more effective later on. It feels good to get all those carrots at once. That is satisfying. And there's a little bit more cash. Nice. All right. I already feel a lot better about that. I love how quickly you can begin to build a run in this game, man. Like, that's another testament to its quality. You were just on an OP build, and then, like, what, 10 or 15 minutes later, we're on our way to a brand new one. Explosion damage from you and your companions inflicts instability and armor break. Fuck yeah. Maybe I won't replace this bow. Oh, my God. That's pretty good. Okay. And we already got body armor. Yeah, we might as well check for something better. Maybe I can still get explosions from it somehow. All right. So he's got uh, whatever that affliction was. I should have paid more attention to, but the armor break as well, which also isn't going to matter a lot of the time, but still fun. There goes the armor. This phase is always a bit of a pain in the butt. There we go. Get that five stack again. Nice. Ah, there goes our evade. There goes the armor. God damn it. What am I doing? Silly bear. Yoink. Hmm. Blowgun. 
poison damage. Thrusting disc launcher. Yeah, I'll just keep this for now, I guess. I'm not gonna use it all that much. Well, maybe there'll be something that I could logically conclude is weak to poison, which I don't even know what that would be. Uh, anything? More decks. Yeah, you found my one weakness. Lethal liquids. How could you have possibly known? These guys are tanky. Jeez. There we go. Got the decks. A few more bombs. Probably not a bad idea. See you. Cursed broccoli. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh my god. Real damn close on some of these. This is the thing about rangers, you often do actually have to be accurate, which Lord knows. I've relied on some help there in the past. Uh, go ahead. More decks coming up here too, man. Nice. And we got a lot of gold out of that. Big boom. Big boom. Excellent. Dex and intelligence. Thank you very much. At least these guys are making it easier for me and bunching all together for the explosions. Come on, then. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Even more decks. Wow, I mean, we're getting really lucky with that, too, at least. As we can find some traits that take advantage of it, we should be in pretty good shape. We need to remember to actually allow that to explode, too. Speaking of which... Let's see. Ranged attacks gain 100% crushing hit chance at close range. On dash, gain full stacks of Tailwind and trigger your on-combat start effects. Or periodically mark the lowest health enemy with Rogue's Mark every four seconds. It guarantees a critical hit and lasts until triggered. Damage from crits is multiplied with your... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these all kind of aren't great. I guess I'll take the Rogue's reliability, but... Nothing fantastic there, sadly. We should get some reroll dice, actually, so we don't have to deal with that kind of crap again. It's starting to fall off just a little bit. Oh, all red dice. All right, then. Let's see what the epic holds for us here. Break through that armor. I gotta check what that, actually, or what that other status effect actually was. I think it might even be permanent. Oh, never mind. Instantly. Proven incorrect with that. I do look like that I'm going to be able to bomb him right off his spawns here with those. That's fun. Oh boy, there we go. Of course, the mark is going to be pretty damn good on bosses, too. There it is. Should be dead here. Close to it. There we go. Sweet. Not bad, not bad. I actually thought that was a carrot. Necro Torch grants necrotic damage to melee attacks. Not gonna help us. Iron Greaves. And Watcher Orb. A suspicious Eye Orbital that deals striking damage. I guess it's the Greaves, even though that's gonna encumber me, too. That doesn't sound great. Uh. Eh, it's not too bad, I guess. Evil! Increased damage dealt to fiends. Increased elemental damage. Or summons a bat. Yes. I want bats. That's quite evil indeed. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and buy these other two as well. They're not amazing or really useful at all at the moment, but it does make me evil. And that's all that matters. Power time. My boys, the bards. 
I would never betray my own kind, but circumstances are a bit extreme these days. Oh, especially not purple bards. That's the best kind. That's like a holographic bard. And he explodes. God damn it, I feel bad doing that. And they just keep coming. I'm sorry, friends. I simply don't have a choice. A lot of gold all of a sudden. Right from all those bards who have been plundering the corpses of. Why work for a hard earned wage when you can just take it off somebody's corpse? Oh boy. Bear is bear trade the bears. I'll never recover bear. It's an unbearable bearden. Shop time? That's probably worth it. That's probably worth it. Ranged attacks and crushing hit. No! Oh, choice has been sealed. Increase stats from your companions based on how many companions you have. 100% increase at 3. 200% at 2. And 300% at 1. That's pretty good. I'll take that, I guess. Pretty sure I wanted the one that they took away from me, though, unfortunately. 60% increased damage, but also reduced damage by 10% per level. That's odd. I think I'd rather have the armor. Probably gonna go ahead and blow up this chest, too. There's just nothing but bards in this here, in this place. Go a little bad. Ooh, a soul heart. That was totally worth it. I bet I could find a better helmet here. Here we go. I'll try to get him a little bit of companion damage here, too, although I guess... This guy in particular, I'm probably better off just doing this, actually. Just like stand, like, directly in the middle, basically, and... Ah, oh, okay, yeah, never mind, maybe not. Not ideal. I gotta let those bombs hit a little bit more often, too. Oh, come on now, really? Who's you stand in the center for this? No, not a good idea. There he goes. Holy shit, wow! Okay, we're right at me with that one. Okay, there goes the armor again. He's starting to give me a little trouble here, actually. Oh boy, yeah, that was bad. Stay focused, buddy. Let's do some work there. Nice. Woo, that was scary. He's kind of tough. I thought I had a system going with him, but he had, he had my number there. Set piece, another epic item. It's three luck and three curse. Eh. Dur Durndle. A non-triggered lucky hit. Shoot a pretzel projectile at the target. Man, that feels obligatory. But I don't have any lucky hit chance right now. 25% chance for sword attacks to repeat? That's not going to help either. I have another whiff, man. Oh, well. Let me sell that later, I guess. Off we go. I don't think I need to fully recover here. I'll just go ahead and take a flask real quick. Maybe two. Just to be safe. Yeah, let's go obsidian chest. I still feel like we could find a better weapon here, even though we've got the explosion bonus. Holy shit, they're fast now. Yeah, our damage is kind of lackluster here. Marksman cape. 15% chance for ranged attacks to repeat. 
I think that's better for us, actually. Let me give that a go. Alchemy stash is always good. More dex is probably better, though. And on the set bonus here, we have a ch or the uh, repeated attacks are always crits, so that seems like it'd be pretty damn good, too. Those are cute little puppers. I like them. Rare weapons. Let's see. Bazooka. That's an explosion. Burning star cannon. Also an explosion, but not a dex weapon. Sniper rifle. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I want this bazooka. I think that's going to be the play here. Ooh, baby. Time to sell the dirndl. Thank you. Time to sell the vampire fangs, maybe? No, I think I'll keep that for now. Sell the blowgun. And the armor of Avernus. He's crazy. Bazooka time! Oh, baby. We no longer have that bomb effect, but all of our explosions have that... Uh, bonus from the trade. I just have to actually land attacks. Easier said than done, apparently. Three stacks of dexterity growth on consumption. Additional load capacity. Go ahead and take these right away. Do I need load capacity right now? Probably not, but it might help later. Probably better than one of these things, right? Uh, increased damage dealt to fiends, yeah. I guess I don't need to equip it now. Let me go ahead and blow up this alchemy stash too, probably. I'm starting to wonder if this, uh, this is actually better, but I'm pretty sure if I start consistently hitting the shots, it should make a pretty substantial difference. But maybe not. I don't know. That's kind of questionable. More money! And a blacksmith is probably not a bad idea here. We do have quite a bit of cash. Hey, bud. Thank you. I think I'll get a resin here, actually, too. Ooh, a set item, actually. Hold on a second. We needed the marksman's gloves, which we don't have gloves yet, so let's try this. Maybe a little more streamer luck is in order for today. Repeating attacks on the bazooka would be insane. I like that a lot. Santa coat. Gift boxes contain an additional booze consumable. That's hilarious. Set item. Here we go again. Library guardian. Let's do it. Should be a pretty decent opportunity for us to utilize this weapon at least. Just more center attack patterns, please, if you don't mind. There we go. Thank you. Gotta pay a little bit more attention to this than I thought I did, though. Hey. Oh, boy. Hello. Nice. This is, yeah, if, if you think it's a reference to something, it's pretty likely a reference to something in this game. Detective hat, plus five intelligence, or Halloween cape, periodically fears all enemies in the room every 10 seconds. Nah, that's a whiff. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, I am actually going to go refill my coffee real quick while I'm thinking about it, so give me two seconds here to do that. And some bare belly slaps in chat in the meantime. I'll wait for just a minute here. Hold tight.
Oh man, I remember why I'm needing this extra cup of coffee today. We were up late with Taffy last night. She was coughing up a lung for some reason. Like, she was acting totally normal. She just kept on going like, ah, ah, like a freaking cat with a hairball or something. Trying to help her sort that out. We ended up staying on the couch with her. She's all good now, but yeah, that was keeping us up through most of the night, unfortunately. So that's that's a coo that's a two coffee morning there. That checks out for me. This bazooka is sadly pretty underwhelming. I was really hoping, especially on the upgrade here, that we'd be dealing with something a little more effective. It is nice at least to clearing out the groups of mobs fairly well, but it is also kind of difficult to be consistently accurate with. I'll try to ranger stash and see if we can maybe find something a little more effective here. Disenchanting Doomerang. Increased damage dealt to enchanted enemies inflicts a stack of doom. Cool. And a star bow. Let's try this first. And then that. Uh, I need more bombs, yeah. Very far range. Pretty good. Need more keys as well. This seems pretty solid. Might be able to re-roll the trade at some point as well. Let's try the star bow too. Well, hold on. Wyvern armor again. Power pot's pretty good. Get a fresh one, I guess. And I'll go with the blowing up the alchemy stash. Or we'll get a mimic. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I was going to try the bow. Oh, my goodness. This thing. The fire rate is ridiculous. Let's see. And pop a resin, I guess. Pop an inferno pot there, and then. Um, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to the muscle charm, I guess. I don't really need a mana pot, though. So, yeah, we're good. Alright. Try for the set item again, I suppose. I'm curious to see just how effective this star bow is gonna be. It's not looking great. Let's try this thing again. Especially with the range on this guy, I feel like that's probably going to be the play. Not bad, not bad. And this fight's pretty simple, too. I certainly feel like we need a bit of an upgrade still, though. This damage is sadly not impressing me. Oh, boy. Ah, God. Man, okay, yeah, second phase. I thought he might try to humble me here. He's definitely doing so. Jeez, there we go. Yeah, we need some upgrades, dude. Need some trait help, I think, specifically. How about that, uh, how about that marksman set, huh? How about the marksman's gloves? No? You don't think so? Can anything impress you after that warrior run? I mean, you're not wrong, yeah. There's the Greed's Crown. I don't know, that might be something worth considering. I think I'd rather have that. Well, hold on, increased damage dealt to enchanted enemies. I mean, we're not really seeing a ton of those, but we do have a lot of bonus damage to them if that's the case. Yeah, right, fine. We'll take something that actually makes a difference here. How much more evil do I need? Not a lot, but I will check this anyway. Emblem of Tiamat. Increased damage depending on how evil your alignment is. Let's go! That'll do it. Get rid of the five decks and take that right away, and all of a sudden we're dealing with the 100% bonus damage. Sick! Oh, man! Jade Bracelet's good, too, though. Damn. 40% chance to repeat the grant or repeat the attack. 
And then repair powder may be worth it, but we're already fully evil, so we'll just save the souls, I think. Yeah, that warrior run is certainly set in unachievable bar in my mind here now, but we'll keep fighting for it, I guess. I'm absolutely just going to blow up this chest. Really looking for enchanted enemies at this point. Ooh, soul heart, nice. Here's more decks. We'll make up for that dex we lost there too. Oh my goodness, okay. The damage is looking okay here. It's enough at least for this area. There's a uh oh, we need a key for this, don't we? Damn it. Salad at the cost of strength, don't have a key for that either. Definitely gotta find some keys somewhere. This run, this run actually does still have the potential. Like, the traits really haven't helped us all that much so far at all. I know there's the key, but I gotta go event. I gotta do it. Uh, take the bookmark. You feel watched. Plus one to five death. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth that. Now we'll go for salad. We get enchanted enemies. Nice. Getting a lot more damage done on that. Nice. Okay. Bear reading books. I know. I'm sorry to betray the man that you thought you knew. Infusion buff effects are permanent. Sure. It's pretty early. Well, not really. <laughs> yeah, speaking of making the traits not all that meaningful, but it does help at least immediately. Just gotta find some more resin. No wonder Dan's loving this game. He's got legit resin in it. It's gonna be cursed. I feel like I actually have a lot of curse in this run already, too. I'm gonna have to check on that real quick. Let's find out here. Hold on. Curse level is three. Yeah, 25% cursed hit chance. Yikes. Not awesome. Oh, there's a resin, though. Nice. I'm go for that. Cursed hit chance. I I think I have to refresh my memory on it, actually, before I try to explain to you what it is. The curse hit chance is... Oh, I thought I would explain it. Okay, I, I don't know what it is. I, thought, I forgot. Uh, this isn't going to matter, but I might as well. It's really unfortunate to get the same kind of resin there. What I remember, Curse is not good, though, which, you know, makes sense. But it has several effects. It's like a chance to spawn um, the Reaper in the stages. It also takes away potential trait options and can, like, get rid of stuff that you get from the chests, as we saw recently in this run. Damage is pretty good at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You don't need to worry about that too much anymore, which means... Focus a lot more on defense. We're replacing these greaves with something. Still looking for the marksman's gloves as well, although we haven't really gotten very lucky with that. Mana, immunity to push and pull, 5% increased attack speed, and paladin shield. Which would be better, I think, than the quiver, especially because the quiver isn't really actually doing anything anymore. That is some serious encumbrance, though, and obviously I'm kind of sad that I got rid of the weight capacity thing now, especially because it'd be a lot better than the fiend's charm. I don't know why I didn't get rid of that instead. I think I will take this, though. Oops. Let me see if the encumbrance is that bad. Cursed hit is a crit rolled twice. Lucky hit is a crit rolled twice that only needs to hit once, but the cursed hit needs to hit both times. Okay, okay. So it isn't a bad thing, actually. The cursed hit is helpful, in fact. It is one of the few benefits, I suppose, to having the curse. Okay, that was a uh, total waste of the evade there. This area is going to be a little bit more challenging and immediately makes me feel like I don't have enough damage again. 
Charcoal Pine Resin will help out a lot immediately, though. Epic Weapons. Demon Machine. Explosion damage is back, and it's a crossbow. Ooh, okay. I did just get rid of the quiver, though. God damn it. Um, treasure Scroll. This weapon deals 0.2% more damage per gold you have. Huh. Striking damage. I do think I should try to find something that's at least going to be able to take advantage of the explosion thing. So we'll do that. I don't need the star bow anymore either. Uh, can we not, like, do that? There we go. Not sure how good this is going to be, but I'll try it out. It's not bad, actually. It's solid. Definitely got stuff for the pawn shop here. Get rid of this detective hat. Let's go with the bazooka. Making a ton of money, goddamn. And bullet crossbow. Okay. Neat. Oh my god, wow. Oh boy. Yeah, that damage is certainly looking a little bit better now. And like we mentioned, finally taking advantage of that explosion thing. Just spreading it all around, typical bear taffy fashion. Everybody gets a little bit at a time. More decks. Blacksmith is probably not a bad idea here. We do need to upgrade these guys, and we got a lot of money. Get some bombs too. Let's go ahead and upgrade the other one as well. Sick. The Mythbuster approach explosion equals good, indeed. If it blows up, I like it. Even those repeating attacks too, it looks like every now and then. Burger! Love a bird. Oh man, another uh, place that is local to Utah, I believe, that we're finally uh, able to eat from again the burger bar. We're going there every now and then, getting ourselves a pretty cheap burger and fries and a big ass shake. It is tasty. Another resin. Gotta go for it. They had this gingerbread shake for over the holiday season that was... Oh man, I could have had that every day of my... December. Get another Crystal Pine, sadly. I was kind of gambling on that, I guess. No key! Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, well, we were looking for better boots anyway, I guess. Yeah, Gleed! It's a bit of a drive, but it's worth it. that place. Do, 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 do. This thing is maybe worse than the Doomerang still. I'm going to try that out again and see if maybe we fare a little better with this. Do, 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 do. Eh, I can't decide. They seem pretty similar. I'll just go back to the explodey one. That's just more fun anyway. Holy shit. Careful. Careful. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Oh, boy. Depends on what you call exotic bleed. I think they are still doing like buffalo burgers. Which is pretty dope. That was also pretty rough. Get some rare goodies though. On dash, trigger a lightning strike that can deal a tremendous amount of damage. Roots boots. Increased stamina recovery speed while standing still, or armor of Agathis with the Icy Ball Orbital. 
I still want to hold out for the marksman's gloves, man. I believe. Grab the lightning bolts. Which are these, but with lightning. Fittingly. Hello. While evil, your primary attacks inflict doom. Yeah. That seems good. Lol, Mike, lol. A few bear hugs for him, please, if you don't mind. Welcome on to the pile. Mike, thank you for the subscription. That's, uh, well, we gotta find a shop here, man. More than anything. Actually, a tavern. Yeah, that's what we need. Not the shop, the tavern. We gotta heal up. And level up. That helps, too. And Gleed Sack. Hey, thanks for the sub, too, man. Appreciate it. A few bear hugs, please, for him. Welcome on to the pile. Thank you very much. Repeated attacks have double their crit hit multiplier. And on dash, repeat your next attack. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. Refill a flask is probably a good idea. Let's not count on finding the tavern here. Let's see if I can maybe get a little more HP back right away. My goodness. Isn't that exciting? Okay. Thank you very much. Let's just refill now and then back to the event. Cool. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's get the soul heart, I guess. I'm already cursed to shit, so I might as well embrace it. Need some HP anyway. Still got the bonus damage a little bit to uh, enchanted enemies, at least, I believe. Not really showing it though. There we go. I think that's the last resin we had to take, so. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, I'll take the intelligence, I guess. We're finding exactly what we need at the tail end here, but we're in pretty good shape anyway. There's a shop. Yeah, I did want that. Broccoli, thank you. Rainbow pot, absolutely. I'll get a refill in the flask and then we can enchant the weapon. Cool. Let's do it. What do we get? Divine. 25 to 50 radiant damage. Cool. And random pot. Nice. That works. So what do you need a key, too? That's a good find. Ah, it's a waste to be evade, man. Those lasers give me a lot. Uh, random resin again? Might as well keep cursing. First boy. Crystal pine yet again. We are loaded up on the crystal pine resin. Cool. I remember to dash more too, actually. Dash can only help me here. Excellent. Uh, another chance at the set. This will be my lone key utilized, but hopefully we can find those gloves we were looking for. Although we do have really gloves, really good gloves already anyway. Worth a, sh worth a shot at least. Wedding ring. Plus one to weapon upgrade level. Also grants, grants lucky hit per weapon upgrade level. That's pretty cool. Vows of fortune. That's a cute little option there. All right. That'll have to do. Let's go with the rare item. And a zero of each. Why not? Here we go. Yeah, certainly a little different from our previous experience with death. Although not that much. All right. That's a big hit there. He's gone. See ya. Not sure if our previous meeting with death could be classified as an experience. Yeah, that's a fair point. More of an encounter, I guess. Even that. 
Plus one to lightning weapon. Uh, no, thank you. Combat prowess is a buff that grants plus 30% increased melee damage and lasts eight seconds. That's not great. On tally of 10 primary attacks, shoot three seeking missiles at the nearest enemy. Yep. I'll take it. That sounds like fun. I like when the things go boom. <laughs> it's a meet and greet, yeah. He signed my picture. Then he had to be on his way. Let's go to the burning hells. We're gonna be just fine down here too, dude. And off we go. And they're surviving for a little bit. I remember to use those dodge quirks. Alright, we got something formidable here, I think. A serious challenge. Let's do it. Fun attack patterns. I'm liking this area too. All right, more resin. Now let's go attack speed. This also grants experience. Apparently, we do need. We have to get all of our traits so far here. I'm leaping back like off the fucking top rope like that too. Well, you have a mark reward. Your primary attacks at far range gain lethal or 100% lethal hit chance. Gain between 5 and 35% increased attack speed depending on the dexterity scaling of your equipped weapon. It grants harmony while you have dealt at least three kinds of elemental damage in the past four seconds. I mean, alacrity is pretty damn good. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, that is an instant difference maker. I do remember picking that one pretty frequently, and I'm beginning to remember why. The EPS instantly surges. We get even more attack speed here. Let them have it. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I'll take the booze. Sure. Sounds like fun. Get a little tipsy today. Oh yeah, it's getting nice. Oh, real tipsy apparently. All right. Guess we're going whiskey. You get the whiskey drink, and then the whiskey drink. And drink the whiskey drink. And then you head to the sink. Jar of goo. Shadow shuriken. Crits with this weapon inflict corruption. Or you can get another Twilight Branch. Someone's a donkey. This grants 100 equip load capacity. That's pretty cool. I think I'm good, though. This is feeling a lot better all of a sudden. I think we got a good shot at this here. All right. Try it out, I guess. What brings a mortal into the depths of the underworld? I'm mad about it. And all of my friends here are too. All right, yep, yeah, use the pots. Four, and then five, six. Next time we use the evade, pop the rainbow potion. Rivers of flames descend upon you. But it's okay because you can easily evade them. Don't really worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Oh boy. Big boom. Big boom. Yeah, I'm a little over covered. Not intentional, just the result of the build. Not really hurt me too bad though. Go 
but he still seems fine. Next, team, next time I have a D&D &D group meet Tiamat, this is exactly how I'll mock her. I mean, she does sound like that. I'm Tiamat. I have multiple dragon heads, and I'm the leader of the underworld. Yeah. Nano suit. Your flask repairs a point of armor. Use while health is full. Corruption aura that inflicts corruption and debuffs enemies to take dark damage from you and your companions. That's pretty cool. It's really better than the marksman's cape, I think, at this point. And more curse. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Oh, the equip load's really bad on that. That'd be really encumbering. Yeah, I guess I'll take it anyway. I'll sell it later or something. Only a being of pure evil can go deeper. Where does the allegiance of your soul lie, mortal? The scale of evil will be the judge of it. You are sufficiently evil, yeah. <laughs> In we go. First time being here, too. Let's do it. Let's get a soul heart, yeah. Probably for the best. This one the highest attribute, absolutely. Don't lose that soul heart immediately, okay? That's all I'm asking of you. Just keep that for like a room. That's all you gotta do. Uh, guess I could refill a flask, but I'd rather have the pot. And this is a banger here too, dude. God damn, the soundtrack does not ever miss. That was a wild attack pattern, what the fuck? Uh, mana pod, sure, why not? More booze, yeah, let's get tipsy. Holy shit, look like at mini boss in here. What the fuck, man? Oh, that is a lot of whiskey, Jesus. Oh, I'm puking. I had too much. I'm far too tipsy. That is doing something, isn't it? Oh, that guy, okay, that guy, when he dies, right, okay, so he's got a little after-death effect going on. Uh, just in case, I need one key. And we'll take this. And he just charges at you like that. All right, yeah, that sucks. I gotta be ready for that, I guess. Uh, let's go with the attack speed again, yeah. He's gonna do it again here, shit. Lasts a while, god damn it. I think it like sits in the center too. First Ambrosia. As well -ja. Thank you. One final rest. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fully recover here, I think. Probably worth it. Okay. I want to try this. Corruption makes them take additional dark damage. Increases damage taken by 1% per stack. I wonder how many max stacks of corruption they can have. Yeah, I could probably do this too, I guess. Actually, I might prefer the, dot, the dash. I think it will. I think that's gonna be better, and I'll, I'll eat crow if it's not. Just because it's so delicious. Little hatchling, I see you finally arrived. I am impressed. You carve a path of utter devastation. It appears even the mighty Tiamat couldn't escape your wrath. You truly are an unstoppable force of evil, even dethroning death. Your bloodlust, it invigorates me. I've sensed the growing darkness within you. Eagerly awaiting this very moment. At last, a worthy contender for the Infernal Throne. Show me your strength. Ah, damn, dude. That's some bullet hell shit. Properly, I suppose, for where we're at. 
Daemon Infernal King. This is fun. Although I've gone on record as not being the biggest fan of off-screen attacks. There he is. Another goddamn banger, huh? This first phase isn't so bad. Pretty manageable so far. You've proven a formidable foe, but don't presume you've bested me yet. For eons, I've been ruling the burning hells with an iron fist. Countless souls have fallen before me, their struggles forgotten. Let me tell you, defeating you will be a pleasure unlike any other. Prepare yourself for your imminent doom, for I shall unleash my full might! And I'm green now! Ooh, spooky! Holy shit. Yeah, that is a, uh, that's an intense attack right there. Jesus, man. Binding Chains is a status effect that makes you unable to dash and last seven and a half seconds. That sucks. Okay. Oh my, what the fuck? Oh, I did not realize that would happen. All right. I defied death. Yep, that's not good. My flasks there. Wow, holy shit. True bullet hell experience. He's done. Nice. Here's our third key for the abyss as well. We did it. Greetings. Your supreme evilness. Take seat on the throne. Good stuff. You have accomplished the impossible. You've become the embodiment of evil. In the same day that you became the embodiment of purity. You really are quite the character. He contains multitudes. The new infernal overlord. We swear to answer to you. May they herald in a new age of evil. Immortal no longer. Now ruling the burning hells, but even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity. Heck of a day, dude. Managed to get a lot done. Progress through the world to your another level, I believe. Achieving this unlocks the sealed gate to the abyss. In the next expansion. Ah, crap. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we got plenty to do still here in this available content. Looking forward to whatever the next level of that is. Enter and vanquish the first level of the abyss. Oh, boy. That'll be fun. Lots to unlock still. I've unlocked the demon hunter class as a result of that success. We'll check them out next time. Fueled by vengeance, the demon hunter stalks the night, relentlessly pursuing all evil. Rooms on, can appear tainted, adding additional enemies, but also doubling the reward. That's kind of neat. Starts with a negative one alignment as well. All right, well, thanks for watching some more Tiny Rogues, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching over on YouTube, please leave a like on the video. That does help quite a bit. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.